Over the past couple years, we've seen some huge wins in the pro-life movement. New Hampshire has recently experienced success in this area, and you can help continue to protect the unborn here in the Granite State. For the last few decades, New Hampshire has allowed for abortion all the way up until the point of birth. But just recently, the Fetal Life Protection Act was passed through the legislature and signed into law by the governor. It became the first substantive ban on abortion in the state of New Hampshire. This act prohibits late-term abortions, meaning that abortion is illegal after 24 weeks gestation, a time at which children can typically survive outside of the womb. An area of great contention in the act is the ultrasound requirement. New Hampshire has become the 28th state to have an ultrasound requirement, and it is a very modest one. It is only implemented if there is a substantial risk that the child is 24 weeks old. Essentially what this does is it makes the act enforceable so that life can be protected after that 24-week time frame. The Fetal Life Protection Act is a huge success story in New Hampshire. We became the first state in the nation to go from allowing abortion up until birth to protecting late-term unborn children. This has shocked abortion advocates. For context, other states with similar 24-week bans, like New York, Nevada, and Massachusetts, have actually repealed those laws and are allowing abortion up to birth for any reason. New Hampshire is going in the opposite direction on a very encouraging trajectory. However, this trajectory needs your protection and support. While the act has passed and has been signed into law, there have been numerous attempts, even just this past legislative session, to gut it and make it unenforceable. Legislators have attempted outright repeal of the act, stripping its enforcement mechanisms, removing penalties if someone breaks the law, getting rid of the ultrasound requirement, and creating completely open-ended exceptions to the 24-week ban. These all have one thing in common. If they succeed, the act would be nullified and unenforceable. These gutting attempts have been defeated, but the fight continues next session. This is where your help is critical. We have the opportunity to defend life right here in New Hampshire. So check the voting records of your representatives on life policy. Call them and express your support of the Fetal Life Protection Act and encourage them to be defenders of life. We can all be a part of shaping a culture of life, hope, and care for the vulnerable here in the Granite State.